US crude has shown a little recovery as we discussed in the Asia session update that till the time 70.8 levels are respected we can expect a rise and see 70.8 it is respected again has seen the rise till towards 71.8 level 71.872 we had seen was a good resistance level at the same time net gas precisely traded in 2.3 2.4 levels 2.3 is a very good support and it is struggling to break past 2.3 so now what to expect with the us session which position you should take in order to profit trading crude oil and net gas we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the live market analysis you can also join our free telegram channel in order to get the live updates the link is mentioned in the channel and video description in this update first we'll look into us crude followed with net gas do watch till the us crude on the early charts you can see one bearish candle and a complete movement so far since yesterday have been engulfed within this candle if you look at 72 levels were a greater resistance it is yet falling shy of breaking past 72 levels at the same time on the downside 71 and 70.8 levels are a greater support now if you look at early charts it is getting greater resistance four to five candles just trying to strike or cross pass by 71.8 level but failing to do so or not yet was not yet able to cross pass by hence yes a buy entry only if you see it trading above 72 dollar levels beyond which little more bullishness can be expected at the same time now if you look at on the downside support is seen till 71 and 70.8 levels only and only if 70.8 is breached you can see double top you can again expect it to drop till towards 70 dollar levels and a hence a sell entry is only below 70.8 right now you can see a good resistance at 71.8 and hence in between this zone do not take any position let it break past by any of these levels and then certainly you can expect that it has taken a direction below 70.8 70.5 70 levels is a greater support and below that we may see it hitting 69.6 69 levels directional movement bearish stock stock overbought MACD is bullish here it is crossed over at bottom it is trading with little divergence but the candle size have flattened here this is not a good sign for a gold um, uh, for crude oil here rsi almost flat and on the two hour you can see here getting the resistance here and it is trying to retrace however a good support is seen here at 70.8 and hence below which only further bearishness can be seen and hence do not take a position in between 70.8 and 71.8 if you look at direction movement here bearish stock has to get top macd willing to converge crossover this is a good sign first wave second wave and it is willing to cross over if it does certainly more bullishness may prevail rsi right now it is trying to look downwards trying to stay bearish and if you look at three r charts now see on the three r charts the double top is seen and since then it has tried to retrace what it can do at best here is it is trying to form a tail or a symmetry here i will just watch out for how it behaves till towards 71 levels till that time because see 71 means what it can try to do best here is give a higher low and then reverse and if it does it can give a very very strong bullish candle the possibility exists for that but you have to remain watchful till towards 71.8 and 72 do not take a buy entry directional movement moderately bearish stochastic is seen rising macd trying to converge crossover rsi almost flat and on the 4 hour chart similar is the observation but one point what we discussed in the morning update here is see the candle side diminished here reversal sign is seen here one bullish candle there is a equal probability of a second bullish candle which can take it till towards 72.4 and 73 levels also hence specifically above 72 which is also the moving averages you can see all the moving averages are aggregated here hence above 72 specific just stay long 72.4 72.8 and 73 are the next resistances if you look at directional movement bearish here stock stick is seen rising macd is bearish trying to converge rsi is flat here and on the daily now on the daily chart there is one worry point see lower highs lower lows and after this rise it is still a flag formation anywhere any point of time staying above 74 is what one should look after because beyond that certainly more bullishness more rise can be expected if you look at the 20 period moving average this is situated at around 71.8 and hence this is a very good resistance because beyond that 73 levels will come into picture and then beyond that more bullishness so yes above 72 one can stay long directional movement is bearish here stock stick has dropped macd is bearish but trading bullish but trading with very little divergence here and it is trying to still stay upward rsi almost flat here considering this you can 
बाय ऑयल एट अराउंड सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट एट और सेवेंटी टू लेवल्स आई विल से बाय एट सेवेंटी टू एक्सपेक्ट सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट एट सेवेंटी थ्री एट द नेक्स्ट टारगेट्स बियॉन्ड सेवेंटी थ्री मोर बुलिश इज गोइंग टू बी सीन एंड यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इट टू इट सेवेंटी फोर ऑल्सो ऑन द डाउन साइड बिलो सेवेंटी पॉइंट एट यू कैन टेक अ सेल एंट्री एक्सपेक्ट सेवेंटी पॉइंट फाइव सेवेंटी एंड देन बिलो दैट सिक्सटी नाइन लेवल्स विल भी एक्सपेक्टेड इन बिटवीन सिक्सटी नाइन सेवेंटी पॉइंट एट एंड सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट एट टू नॉट टेक अ पोजिशन नाउ टेक योर टेट्स नेट गैस एंड बिफोर यू प्रोसीड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू दिस आर्ट ऑफ ट्रेडिंग प्रॉफिटेबली यू शुड जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच ट्वेंटी थर्ड बैच स्टार्ट ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ नव इट सेल्फ रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ई मेल आई डीज आर मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन रिमेबर ओनली लिमिटेड सीट्स आर अवेलेबल एंड आर कंप्लीटली ऑन फर्स्ट सर्व फर्स्ट फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व बेसिस रिजर्व योर सीट्स नव इट सेल्फ ऑल्सो यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी फॉर माई जॉइनिंग माई टेलीग्राम सिग्नल्स चैनल वे आर ट्रेडिंग एज पर द सिग्नल्स डेफिनेटली यू कैन बेनिफिट लव लुक एट नेट गैस 2.3 my favorite are respected yet again and it is just trading within the box between 2.3 2.4 now second thing is after retracing here it has seen a good drop lower lows are done and are now trying to reverse hence uh, i will wait for it to break past 2.34 where you can expect 2.36 2.38 levels yes uh, about 2.38 definitely as we discussed was more bullishness but right now it is not willing to go past 2.38 levels and uh, yes 2.3 indeed is a good support let's see if it is try to stay above this directional movement is bearish stochastic oversold macd is extremely bearish here rsi at bottom it calls for a little reversal it calls for a little rise here on the two hour charts if you look at see the retracement see the rise and again it is just forming head and shoulders and after that it has dropped and 2.38 certainly has proven out to be a very good resistance as we had discussed in the morning update Now remember 2.3, 2.28 levels. Yes, if you see it trading below 2.28, you can go selling again. But uh, we one has to remain very cautious while selling at 2.28 because it has got greater, greater support and it has got all the opportunity, all the potential to bounce back, to rise back again. Hence, uh, yes, only selling opportunity I will recommend is below 2.28 now. Directional movement is bearish. Stock has taken a drop. MACD is extremely divergent and bearish. RSI looking down, and if you look at three R. Likewise, on the three-hour chart, see still it is giving you higher lows, higher highs trading with the, within the channel, and uh, hence any move about two point three six itself you can buy now because see uh, earlier it was trading at a lower levels and hence higher levels and hence two point three eight. Now you can buy at two point three six and expect it to rise. In fact, I will recommend you to buy here at two point three four itself and then expect two point three six, three eight, and two point four levels. 2.4 is the ultimate resistance it needs to pass by on the downside below 2.28 you can again enter a sell entry directional movement bearish stochastic has dropped but look at macd this is crossing over and trading with divergence this is a bearish sign here rsi is also looking downwards indicating slight bearishness and now look at 4 hour chart see it was trading in this bearish channel now it has come out of this bullish channel also see this was the bearishness this was the retracement and now trying to look downwards a uh, one has to remain very cautious now at these levels it is still not to be considered bearish if it breaks below 2.25 then you can say that the bears are prevailing and you can expect a drop there and hence only sell entry yes you can sell here at 2.28 till the time it respects 2.28 i will not recommend you to sell below 2.28 2.25 is the first target and then on the downside it can uh, continue to drop till towards 2.2 and 2.1 levels one has to remain very very cautious there Directional movement crossing over for a sell. Stock has taken a drop. MACD crossing over here again for a sell. Trading with divergence. RSI looking down. And on the daily, if you look at the daily charts, potentially this should be considered for a reversal sign. If till the time it 2.4 levels are respected. But at the same time, one must not forget that it is still trading in this bullish channel. And hence, any drop below 2.28 levels uh, for this candle and for next candle, that is where one can expect that it is reversed, and we are going to look forward to a drop. at the same time about 2.36 itself you can buy today expect a rise for 2.4 levels remember the fact lower highs lower lows which means lower lows are done lower highs which means it can potentially recover till towards 2.4 levels hence buy at 2.36 sell at 2.28 in between this a long long gap where i will not recommend you to take a position there and those who want to take a little risk can buy at 2.34 expect 2.36 38 2.4 levels at the greater resistance Take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Always remember, markets can swing either which ways, and hence do not trade in without a stop loss. A stop loss is your friend, and just put a stop loss at entry price whenever you see your trade is in profit. Take your trades accordingly. 
have a great profitable trading day ahead and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch or signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are available in the channel and video description also do not get trapped from any of the fraudsters who are imposing on my name and just asking money in the name of investment and or good returns remember there is no shortcut or there is no quick money take your trades accordingly have a great profitable trading day thank you